Howdy folks, I'm Jules and um, welcome to the latest instalment of Cult Wine on YouTube. Um, sorry there has been somewhat of a delay between this and the last video. Um, we've had technology issues, aka my phone stopped working, I had to get a replacement, um, I had to get it fixed and the replacement they sent me was um, not viable for, for um, doing this sort of thing, so I've been behind the game um, a little bit in any event. Um, today I'm going to be talking about natural wine. Uh, I guess natural wine is um, a topic that there is a lot of animus against and a lot of um, cheerleading for, and I think on both sides, um, the people who hate it and the people who love it, uh, can be a little bit um, misguided at times, and I'm definitely in the love it camp uh, with reservations. Um, so I thought I'd talk about sort of why people don't like it, why people do like it, and and us here at Cult Wine trying to find a happy medium. Now, um, just before you uh, go any further, make sure you like this video um, and share it with someone who you think would find it interesting. Um, now, just a little bit about the philosophy behind natural wine. Um, there is a winemaker here in New Zealand, James Milton, who makes some fantastic wine, and he says um, something, and I'm sure it's from someone else, but it may well be from James, but I've seen it sort of prop up um, umpteen times uh, while looking up these sort of wines. And that is, for a wine to be great, first it must be true. Um, and that aspect of truth in wine is a really, really important one. Um, basically, it means that um, a wine must taste of the place where it's grown to be a truly great wine. It can't just taste good. Now, there's nothing wrong with a wine that tastes delicious. Um, but those wines are very rarely great wines. And I can give you like a whole pile of, of, of $20 to $30 wines that taste delicious. Um, but they're not great wines because they don't taste the where they come from. Um, and that's, that's sort of the main point underscoring um, natural wine. So the idea behind natural wine is you want to express a place as, as purely as you can. And um, natural wine advocates would argue that to do this, you need to use as little artifice in winemaking as possible. So what does that mean? Um, when you're making commercial wine, there are some decisions that you can make. Um, so, using a lot of oak for instance, and that can be cheap oak in tea bags. It can just be like lots and lots of new barrels. Um, that really hides the trueness of a wine. Um, likewise, you can do some technological stuff. So, reverse osmosis, taking alcohol out of wine, or micro-oxygenation, which softens up a wine. These are all things that are sort of technological ways of making a wine potentially more delicious, but definitely one that would speak less of where it comes from, um, at least in, in my mind. And then there are some day-to-day -day winemaking things that, that, that natural winemakers try to sort of strip out. So um, that's the addition of, of any yeasts. So natural winemakers um, typically will always use indigenous yeast. And to do that, they need impeccably clean fruit, which usually almost always means organic slash biodynamic grapes. That's a real bone of contention for some people. Um, for us, it's really important. Uh, uh, when, when, for me, when a winemaker is not using, um, not using uh, organic product, um, I don't like to use the term natural because it's associated with that, that organics movement so much. And so I would often use another term, possibly um, lo-fi as a term that I really, really like uh, for those sort of wines. So that's um, otherwise really hands-off, but not necessarily organic. That's, that's the term that I would use, but there's a lot of others. In any event, um, sort of talking about other things they do. So, no fining. Um, fining is the process um, usually using a protein of some sort, so often egg, often fish product, um, of stripping out kind of the, the floaties um, in a wine. And you'll see that, I mean, even on this camera, um, see how cloudy that is? Uh, so that's unfined, unfiltered, um, and if it were to be fined and filtered, 
you would have a perfectly clear wine with no sediment. Um, so yeah, filtration takes out the sediment or bits um, and fining makes the wine clear. Um, and then there is the sort of the monkey in the room sulfur. Um, now it is possible to make wine without any sulfur and it is possible to make amazingly ageable wine without sulfur. However, it becomes really tough, especially if you're looking at exporting wine and that sort of thing. So, um, the hardest, corest of them will say no sulfur, but um, generally a little amount of sulfur is, is, is totally acceptable um, and is sometimes a really good thing. That's, that's the basis of, of natural wine. Now there's, there's other things that, that we're not going to go into, but that's just a very, very generic overview. Now, Going through some wine, going through a few things. Now we have got a really cool selection of natural wines as part of our natural wine march um, pack. We change that up every month. And if you go on the website and grab some now, you're going to save 20% off the full retail price. It is an awesome selection of wine. And finally, a little events board. Um, we've got two. One very natural, one quite natural um, event. So on the 24th of March, we have an introduction to natural wine. So if you want to taste how these wines express themselves at the various different price points from various different places, um, come along, go on to coldwine.co.nz and book a ticket, um, and use the code WINEFULNESS. I'll put it down in the um, comments, and you'll get 25% off that. Booyah. Um, likewise, we've also got um, a tasting with Simon Kelly of um, Lubrication Wines, who is one of the coolest wine importers into New Zealand, and he brings in some very, very good shit. Um, and we're going to be tasting Californian, Burgundy, uh, Austrian, Italian, like really wonderful wine from a few um, interesting places. Um, so, make sure you like this video, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share it with someone who might enjoy it. Cheers, drink well.